Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Jarvis demo. Um, this one, I have a few new features. I have appliances set up, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I will show you guys a live video feed a little bit later, near the end of the video. That will be the finale. Um, but for now, you can see I have the background changed. And what happens is, in this pictures folder, this actually should be re renamed to wallpapers. I have six different wallpapers you can choose from. Now, the one at the bottom right-hand side is the default one. So if I click on this one, it changes to uh, this layout. If I go into the settings, it keeps the layout. If I go into basically any other GUI, it will keep the layout. And even if I restart the program, I'll show you guys now. Close, reboot. You can see it's kept the background that I've set up. So I'm going to keep the background for this one. Now, what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to get the community more involved with Project Jarvis, uh, specifically my Project Jarvis. So what I've decided to do is these five images that I have blank, these five thumbnails, keep in mind the last one is occupied. I'll just keep my mouse there. Um, so those five images, I basically need something to, to replace these blank thumbnails. And if I click on them, you can see they don't change into anything. So I want you guys to design me some nice backgrounds. And these backgrounds can be anything. I think a circuit board one will be pretty cool because I have hardware set up and you know, nice components and circuit board. But if you are a graphic designer, try and make one in 1080p, so 1920 by 1080 resolution. And uh, try and keep it clear, unless you want to go for a blurry style image, that will also be pretty cool. But that's up to you. You guys can create anything. Um, I particularly like this one, so this one's going to stay as the default. But this one, yeah, I just uh, got off Google. I think it is quite nice though, but I'm not going to keep it. I want you guys to design me some images. Um, send me an email. I'll leave the link in the description. You can also leave it on my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I will be posting updates and uh, you know just how things are going with Project Java. So I'll put all that stuff in the in the description. And I'm also selling some stuff, but I'll mention that a little bit later. So yeah, I want you guys to design me some nice backgrounds. Okay, so if you guys um, do get this program for beta release, I just want to show you guys how you would actually set this up. So I've implemented a settings and an appliances. The appliances one is blank for now. I will be adding stuff in there a little bit later on. Now in the settings, we have our Arduino IP. This should be named public IP because the way that you set this up is that you go to Google, you type in what's my IP, and it'll give you your IP address right here. So mine's 196 point whatever, I'm going to blur that out. You just want to go in here, paste it, click on save, and it would have saved my settings. So now I'm able to communicate with my Arduino. And obviously you have to have your port set up. If you try anything stupid, it will give you a warning. And uh, yeah, so it does have all the necessary, you know, exception handling and stuff. Now, we have uh, these rooms set up, um, 10 rooms that you can set up. If I go out of here, basically all they do for now is they show you what rooms you have set up in this lights box. Um, so if I go into the settings and I add YouTube video, and I click on save, it tells you on the top, settings have been saved. This is basically the header bar. It uh, keeps you updated and stuff, tells you what's going on. It's handy for me for you know to see what's happening, and you can see we have YouTube video added now. In the future, these different options will be extremely vital to the home automation speed, how fast you can actually turn your stuff on and off. So that is quite nice to have. There's only ten rooms set up, but uh, you know set up your main rooms only. The music you can set your default music directory. So where is your music all stored? Mine is stored in D music. So if I go into my D drive. Uh, music, you can see all my music is here. Lights and appliances, which will be added a little bit later. So let's close that. Now as you guys know in the previous video, and if you haven't seen the previous video, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can watch that first. It basically works on the same principle. So yeah, we have these social network icons. If we click on it, it opens up my Facebook, Twitter, and my email. Obviously you guys will be able to change the settings. I'll probably add a social network settings tab in here. So you guys can open up your own um, social networks. But you can see it opens up my gmail.com, my Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I think I'm trying to get more involved um, with Twitter. You can see I only have 19 followers, but um, all the, uh, the updates and stuff goes there. But it will be there. Now, Jarvis can also open up these uh, social networks by voice, voice commands. I say voice commands, but it's not really commands. 
it does rely on a word it relies on open Facebook or see Facebook or something to do with opening Facebook so let me just show you guys how this works Jarvis please may you open up my Facebook page and it's just getting the command there we go please open up my Facebook page and if you look right here you guys can see what it said it said you said Jarvis please open up my Facebook page uh, failed at removing the HTML code now there's a reason why that's there that's just a stupid little bug I'll show you guys how to sort that out later well I'll sort that out later Jarvis please open up my Facebook page and it's just getting the file there we go okay and it worked now this is the problem with speech recognition I'm going to show you guys here now now you can see it told me I said Jarvis pizza open up my Facebook page it confused the word please with the word pizza um, that's not much of a problem because it works on sort of an artificial intelligence system so it doesn't rely on commands keep that in mind a lot of other Jarvis's use commands mine doesn't so I'm gonna open up my Twitter now Jarvis can I please see my Twitter page and there we go here's my Twitter page and we'll open up now and obviously it'll do the same thing for emails but I'm not gonna show you guys that okay now the nice thing about Jarvis that's um, that wasn't that impressive because I had that working last time but a new feature added is being able to get Jarvis to do your research projects for you so you can gather research on various different sites at the moment I have an encyclopedia site set up and Wikipedia but I'm only gathering information from Wikipedia because when I gather information from both it does take quite an amount of time to um, to gather that information and then store it because this does store your text file and the reason for that being is because if you guys um, want to read over you know something else that you researched a few days ago the research will still be there and what's going to happen in the future is that it's going to com contribute to Java's actually being an intelligent system so it's actually going to be able to learn from those files now I'm just going to show you guys what these files look like I'm not sure if I deleted them before the video okay I did delete them before the video so in the searches folder there's going to be all the documents that I'll get so I'm going to keep that open on the side now let's gather information about um, let's say Donald Trump now this may seem set up but you guys will see I'll gather information about a few different things so here we go for Donald Trump I need information on Donald Trump okay finish recording it's just getting the files now compiling information is a text file and there you go, you saw the uh, text file pop up on the side and you can see it even renamed the file or it named the text file to something relevant which is Donald Trump so you guys can locate this Donald John Trump senior born June 14th 1946 is an American business magnet television personality and author okay so that was the Jarvis reply coming into play it was a bit delayed compared to when this file was uh, completed and the reason for that is because this reply was 223 kilobytes and I had to download this file because it worked on a cloud based system and I'm currently downloading at 30 kilobytes a second so this took six seconds or five to six seconds just to download this file and that's the sad thing about living in South Africa or any third world country I do have a four megabit per second line but I've been having problems and I'm only been able to download at 30 kilobytes maximum so obviously if you're in the United States and actually I've just come up with a good question for Jarvis a little bit later and I'll get back to that um, you know, in the future so if you go into the searches you can see we have Donald Trump text document and here is the massive data all on Donald Trump and what Jarvis did was it, it read the first sentence read the first two sentences um, it should have read that much but it didn't because it read senior as one sentence so I'll have to change that in the code um, a little bit later so you can see it saved this file now what in, in the future so you can see it saved this file now in the future it's going to learn from that file so it won't have to download it's just going to read it straight off that um, so let's go with something else let's gather information about uh, the Boeing 747 I need information on a Boeing 747 okay it's getting the file there we go the Boeing 747 is popped up it's just compiling it into the text file uh, it should be done any second and this is where the delay is going to come in for reading the file 
um, you can see the reply is 266 kilobytes. Um, it's going to go down to zero, and then it's going to download the new file, I think. Now this is why it takes so long. It has to download such a big file. And I say such a big file, and it's not even 500 kilobytes. But it's because my internet's so slow. There we go, it's gone down to zero, and now it's going to start downloading. Well, it's already started downloading. The Boeing 747 is a wide-body commercial airliner and cargo transport aircraft, often referred to by its original nickname Jumbo Jet or Queen of the Skies. It is among the world's most recognizable aircraft and was the first wide-body ever produced. Okay, so that worked out quite well. Um, you may notice one thing about Jarvis is that it's now a she. The reason for that is because I'm using a free engine online. It will be changed in the future, so don't worry about that. So that is the problem with this file. Um, if I could somehow get it smaller, or maybe get my internet faster, that will be great. So these are the searches. You can see this is the huge 747 um, file that you can read through in your own spare time. It's pure text data. There's no um, there's no fancy you know, textiles or anything. It's just a pure text document. There's no headings or anything like that. Now, what happens is it constantly makes new text files based on what you search for. Um, I'm not going to explain how I search for this, but I know some people are going to think it's fake because I've been able to tell Jarvis. I told him in the previous one I need information on a Boeing 747, and it ended up renaming this to a Boeing 747, which was pretty good. Um, I found out a pretty simple way to do it, and what it does is it gets the Wikipedia website if it's available, and it basically cuts out everything with a slash in it. So you know you got your HTTP double dot slash. Um, it cuts out all the slashes, and then the final one where it says Boeing 747, the topic of the website, it ends up cutting that out and putting it as a document. So I can search for anything, and it'll be labeled appropriately. Now there is uh, still two more things to show you guys. Now the one is Jarvis being able to answer questions. It cannot do maths equations just yet, but I'll hopefully add that in the next week or so. So I'm going to show you guys how to have Jarvis answer questions. So I'm going to ask Jarvis, how tall is Michael Jordan? So here goes. How tall is Michael Jordan? It's just going to send the text file. I've got the file back, and there we go. Information that Michael compiled. Jordan, height 1.98 meters. There we go. It's just told me straight up 1.98 meters, which is extremely tall. So let's try LeBron James. How tall is LeBron James? LeBron James, height 2.03 meters. And you can see that worked quite well. It worked fast. In the question folder, we have more detail. Now there is a little bug here. I'm not too sure what that about. But here's the majority of the details about LeBron James' height. So let's ask it how fast is the speed of light. What is the speed of light? We're just waiting to gather the information. Okay, it's gathered. See speed of light in vacuum 299.8 kilometers forward slash mis kilometers per millisecond. Okay, so there was a bit of an error there with uh, kilometers slash per millisecond so that's a, that's a simple thing to sort out you just have to replace everything with km slash ms but that is a bug I am proud to show you guys that just to show you that it's not quite perfect yet so let's ask it a few more questions let's ask um, oh yeah I wanted to ask how fast is the United States internet the average United States internet speed because remember I told you guys I came up with one now. So let's do that. What is the average speed of internet in the United States? Okay, any second now? Okay, now we're just waiting for Jarvis. United States, average broadband download rate 11.6 megabits forward slash s megabits per second world rank 30th 2011 estimate. You can see it had a problem reading MB slash S. Um, if you look on the file here at the bottom, you can see it has 11.6 MB slash S and then megabits per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up removing MB slash S. So it just says megabits per second. Tell me the world rank and uh, what year it was estimated in. So 11.6 is pretty quick for an average. In South Africa, it's only 4 megabits. So 
Yeah, let's ask it one more question. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? Once again, it's Eiffel not Tower. Height 324 meters. City rank first. National rank first. World rank 65th. Uh, so as I was saying before, Jarvis interrupted me. Um, the only reason why it takes long is because of this file. To download this file. So I will have to try sort out my internet for that. But for now, if you hold on the questions, you can see it's got more details. The feet, the yards, and stuff like that. For now, I'm just going to close this because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to show you guys how to turn on your coffee machine and appliances. So let me just get this video up. And there we go. So we're going to tell Jarvis to turn on this coffee machine right here. So Jarvis, please may you activate the coffee machine. I don't have any voice feedback for Jarvis yet. I'll have to add that as time goes on. So there we go. You can see the switch is now on. I'm going to zoom in here using the zoom function. It'll probably distort a little bit. So I'm just going to turn this. Maybe you guys can see. Oh, well, you can't really see that because of the black. Okay, but you should be able to see the, the ripples at the bottom here. So that is quite cool. Now I'm just going to leave this running. Um, just to show you guys the, the jug when it's done. Okay, now we're going to turn off the coffee machine. Jarvis, please may you switch off the coffee machine. And there you go, you can see the light went off. And just check the smoke. And I'm just going to show you guys the actual coffee. Um, there you go. So that worked quite well. I don't drink coffee, so I just wasted my mother's coffee. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy the three new features, especially the appliance connection and the uh, question answering that Jarvis has. There is a few bugs. I'll sort that out in the future, maybe this weekend. I do have a PLC course tomorrow, so I'll have to get started with that. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, WordPress, and Skype. That's a lot of social networks. But if you want to keep up to date with Jarvis, uh, make sure you do follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Skype. If you want to ask me questions on Skype, you can. Obviously, we can voice chat. Um, Twitter, I'm going to post my progress. Uh, if I have any problems, what's new, just stuff like that. And on Facebook, I usually post short demos. Um, so make sure you do follow me on all of those. I will definitely accept your requests. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.